what is up my little baby at Marinette Land? Okay, so um I'm Lynn. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am baking something today uh, for the new year and I have no idea what I'm baking. I'm just baking something. It, this is probably going to be like a bread type something, but super, super sweet. So anyway, like happy 2024 everybody. Um, Real talk, I never thought I would be alive to see 2024. And I don't mean that in some kind of way, like, oh, live fast, I am kind of way. Although, you know, I did for a little while suspect that I'd probably be part of the 27 Club, but, you know, I guess that's romantic youth. Anyway, um, no, I, uh, I spent so much of my 30s sick and so much of my 20s. God, just in a toxic, toxic relationship that I could not seem to share be my way out of. And um, I ended up like, a little bit gaslit. And, you know, that whole concept of, like, why would you ever leave me? Nobody's going to love you. <laughs> well, you know, okay. So some people, it's believable, right? Anyway, I'm making bread today, right? But I don't have any eggs, so I have, like, apple butter jam like a couple of them yeah that should be good but anyways so I lost my 20s right and then my 30s I was kind of you know out of blood out of various minerals I needed to live things I needed to say a lot whatever um my side on table you know it's gosh and if that's the point um anyway um I did not think I was going to live to see 40. Holy crap. I'm going to see 40. Like, I know all of the young people who exist on YouTube. You think 40 is old. And you know what? It is old. Oh my god, I feel ancient. But, old enough to know. Time to finally be happy. So, you know, that's something, right? So much ASMR going on right now, I can't even tell you. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I know I'm probably harping on this more than I should, but like, doesn't every chick when she's like about to turn 40 or you now does she just start saying, I'm gonna turn 29 again? I mean, I don't know. I've never really cared about my age all that much. Like, why? I'm not really even feeling self-conscious about it. To be honest, I waited until I woke up one day and looked in a mirror and realized that I looked kind of old and not exactly like my young self anymore. I waited for that point before I started a YouTube channel. I waited until I no longer looked like the, you know, just generic fuck up me, right? Oh, that does not want to open. So yeah, we're going to move on and put some applesauce in there. Um, but yeah, like I waited until that point. So I guess have I been like waiting for old? Have I just been like expecting it this whole time? Like I, I you know, I guess I have. I, I do know I want, I really, really, really want to go gray because I have such an obsession with like crazy hair colors and I have such a hatred of bleaching my hair because those are, those are really just two things you want to have right in common, you know? Um, yeah, so I, I, God bless it. If I could go gray and just like totally skip that bleach stuff, that'd be fantastic. Ah, dreams, fantasies, just sweet, sweet fantasy baby. Yeah, that's all it is. Okay. So, like, I don't know. I just, I didn't expect to be around. Now I'm kind of getting worried, because I totally RSVP'd for First Contact Day in 2063 as, like, a joke. And, hey, I survived most of my 30s so far, right? 
and I survived my 20s, and I survived the unique hell that each of those put me through, and well, I might be here in 2063. I think I'm going to have to figure out how to get to Montana after a world war. Like, can we even talk about how difficult... Ugh. I should not have RSVP for that thing. Yeah, so I've just got like a pile of mush going here right now. Um, I'm sure it's going to resemble something soon enough, but I'm just tossing things in at the moment. So, so far we've got some blueberry muffin mix, uh, some oats, because you need to get your oats in, lady. Um, some sugar, some shortening that might or might not be infused with some things. Ah, oh, that's starting to look more like dough. Yes, yes, there we go. Uh, then there are some sliced almonds because I don't have a lot of people. Um, actually, I have these in my cabinet because boyfriend made these adorable little mice one day. But he used like 15 of them, so I'm going to use like a little bit. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, so I forgot some things because, um, come on, I missed three apple. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to stir the almonds in there. And we're going to add a little bit of salt because apparently that's good for baking. Again... I don't really know these things, but I pretend to know them, and that's something, right? I mean, okay, so I grew up watching, like, um, gosh, baking powder. I know I'm supposed to have baking soda, but I don't have any of that, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna sprinkle some baking powder in there. Yep, that's what we do. And toss some coconut, because of course we toss some coconut. Anyway, I grew up watching Rick Bayless, like... I'm a Skip Bayless fan as far as sports talk goes, sports screaming, sports yelling, whatever you want to call it, right? But I'm a Rick Bayless fan. Like, just... God, I just had so much fun with that show that he had on PBS when I was a kid. I was like, look, okay, I didn't know I was going to grow up and be a stoner, okay? But like... I feel like I was pre-gaming my television experience to, like, cater me towards being a stoner. Because, I mean, okay, look at what I did with my day, right? I started to forget something else. <laughs> so, yeah, like, look what I did with my day. I, like, started out listening to the Osborne's podcast, okay? And then, you know, I watched um, a medical kitchen marathon while I was getting ready to take a shower and then listen to it while I was taking a shower. And, you know, I, God, I feel like I've been preparing my entire life to be a little Rick Bayless copycat, right? Right. I just don't look as cute, so, you know, yeah. We're gonna go with that. Hello, Miss Tara Butts. Is there something you would like to say to the class? No? Okay, just because you're going to walk on by. Okay. Well, so I've got a hint that this is going to come out like bread. I suspect it. I'm more than suspected. I'm pretty sure the recipe I'm using is in my head, which <laughs> not the greatest place to recall things, but I'm pretty sure the math I'm using for the measurements is going to produce something that is kind of like bread-like substance, okay? So, yeah, that's what we're going to roll with, and hope turns out here. Um, I've got a little, uh, my little bread dish that makes everything look so cute. Um, so I'm going to, once everything gets mixed up, I'm going to put it all in there. And I will, um, gosh, I'll see you guys in just a second with probably like a finished product, okay? Yeah. As per usual, I totally forgot the water, so I'm just going to put like that much in there. Yeah. We'll go with that. I have made bread. Yay. Happy New Year. Peace out, my lovelies.